haul for you and I'm sorry that the past couple of videos have just been hauls and hauls and hauls but I'm trying to I don't really have an excuse for shopping that much but I'm just trying to find some great products that I can share with you and today's haul is from the drugstore if you can't tell from above well actually it's from Ulta so in the little bag right here okay so I think I found some really great things um, I am going to be doing my next video is going to be a tutorial using nothing but drugstore products um, a full face makeup um, of everything but nothing but drugstore and I have a few other things from the drugstore that I own that I really like and so um, I'm going to use these products and see which ones I really like and I'm going to be trying to find some great products from the drugstore so I'm going to do a tutorial on everything from the drugstore and I will let you know what I think about each product when I do that so um, and one more thing before I get into the haul, be sure to check out the info bar below because I will be posting everything that I'm wearing, um, my makeup and my shirt because that's all I can see. And if you can tell, I'm in a different location and I cannot find, like, I just can't find a good place to film with good lighting and a cute background so I'm in front of, like, in front of my bed and I put some lights around it because everyone puts lights around their bed and it looks so cute so I decided to do that too. Um, but. So I'm just in front of my bed. So be sure to check that out for what the makeup I'm wearing and my shirt. And also all the products will be listed below and um, their, their price will be listed also. And if I can find them, I might link them down below. And be sure to check out my blog because there will be um, swatches and good pictures on my blog because I, I like posting um, blog posts of swatches and all my products and everything. So there will be a little bit more information on my blog so be sure to check that out and if you haven't already go ahead and like my Facebook that's also linked below and follow me on Instagram for some more fun pictures every day. Um, just kind of like my everyday life and for Facebook for updates and everything like that and I'm working on getting a Twitter right now because I know I'm addicted to Twitter. I have a personal Twitter but I think I might delete that and just have a Twitter for my YouTube account just because I like talking to you all and it's fun so then I'll be able to tweet updates and everything and what I'm doing and it'll be kind of fun so um sorry for rambling but be sure to check out the info bar below because there's tons of good stuff in there and yeah so now on to the haul so I went ahead and purchased a foundation I got the Rimmel Clean Finish um, foundation I have heard a few nice things about this and everyone loves Revlon's color stay and I was just like I didn't, I, most of the time I can't find a good foundation at the drugstore and I was like I'm not going to pay $13 if I'm not going to use it so I might as well give this one a try and I liked the clean finish just because um, I like clean and everything like that so this one was relatively cheap, I will link all the prices down below, um, sorry this hair is driving me nuts. So yes, it says look 100% poreless. I just got it in the shade 130 Ivory. Um, so it says look 100% poreless for a natural and even complexion, lightweight for a clean fresh finish with vitamins A and E plus antioxidants, fragrance free and dermatologist tested. Fragrance free is a good thing. I love, love my Chanel, um, but the problem with Chanel is they have so much fragrance in their products and sometimes it's good and the thing that I hate the most is like their skincare smells amazing it smells so good but the fragrance in it not the actual smell but just like that irritates my skin so this one doesn't have a fragrance um this is the second lightest shade I believe and I like how it has it has a little applicator like this so I guess you can like scoop out the foundation um I'm probably just going to be applying this with my fingers because lately I've just been applying products with my fingers and I've been really liking it. So, um, like makeup foundation wise. So, this is just a swatch of it. And um, I'll blend it in. It feels very nice on the skin. Um, it's not oil free, but it doesn't feel very oily or anything. This is probably too dark. I was going to get the lighter shade, but then I was like, no. But you can see it. It is awfully dark. So, this might not be good. <laughs> might have to wait a little while, but um, it blends very nicely. No smell. Mm, it smells a little bit like makeup. So, anyway. The next thing for your face that I purchased was the Maybelline Dream Lumi Touch um, Highlighting Concealer. And... I already love my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, but I went ahead and got this one. Okay, sorry, I had a visit from Jay and Warm. 
Okay, so the Dream Let Me Touch Highlighting Concealer from Maybelline, and I was looking for the color correcting one. Let's see if you can see. The metallic colors don't always show up on camera, but you can see. And um, this, sorry, I forgot the shade. I just got it in ivory. There was a radiant one, and I'm not sure if that's the one I needed to get. But um, if it's the right, con if it's if this is the right concealer, then they make um, just like a plain concealer, and then they make like illuminating one. So I'm assuming that Dream Lumi, I got the illuminating one, which is the one I wanted. Um, but let me know below if I got the wrong one. So, um, anyways, it says on the back that this is a gel, um, gel-based concealer. Illuminates shadows as it conceals. Skin looks instantly brighter. So, let's go ahead and swatch it and see what I got. And you just twist it. And I'm assuming I'm going to have to twist for hours. Oh, wow. Now we're getting lots of product. Okay. So, you can see it's awfully, um, it's dark. It's more of a pinkish tone which is what I'm looking for. And when I blend it in, oh, I like this consistently. It blends really well. So it's all blended in, if you can see, it's right here. So I'm looking to maybe apply this before my foundation, kind of conceal dark circles around my eyes and then any blemishes I have. Um, so hopefully this will work out. It doesn't seem, I'm hoping that the product extends back here, but it's like looking like there's, it only goes to right here. Which, if so, that's not very much product. But, hopefully this will be good. Next, I'll show you the blush that I purchased. Um, I was watching a video. I was watching a video for all of these because I wanted to do my research on drugstore products. And I was watching a video that Makeup Geek TV posted. I will link it below. It is really helpful for, um, if you're looking to buy drugstore products, it's really helpful and she makes, she lets you know, like, all of her favorite products from the drugstore. And I really like her videos. So, um... I decided to go with this, N I always say NYX, but I think it's NYX, NYX or NYX blush. Um, it's just a very pink color, and it is in the color 06 Peach, and I'm just, it's not peach at all, so don't go for the peachy color. So this is what it looks like. It's such a pretty pink color, and it's so like, it's just like, it is kind of peachy, but it's more pink, way more pink. It's kind of like a baby Barbie pink. So, um, I'm going to swatch it. That's what it looks like. Obviously, I'm not going to wear it like that. I'm going to blend it in. But, um, I really like this. I think that this will be a really great color for spring and summer. Just kind of like a bright, um, a bright but natural blush. Not natural, but, um, not like bright, bright, but just kind of a pop of color. And it'll look really great on everyone, I think. So, I'm excited about this. So, I went ahead and bought two eye products. Um, I have... I have a few products for, um, like eyeshadow products from the drugstore. Um, first I went ahead and got a color tattoo because I have my Bad to Bronze, I believe, and I love that. And this one is in number five, 45 gold, Bold Gold. And this is what the back of the package looks like. So this is kind of a yellowy gold champagne color. So I would say it's more yellow gold than it is champagne. And it's very, very creamy consistency. This is what it looks like. It's probably appearing a little darker than it is. So that's more of like the true color. So this is a swatch. And I do feel like this color probably needed to be built up a little bit. So that's like two applications. But you can see it's a really pretty color. I really like this. This will be a great base for if you're doing kind of a gold eye like I did today. The second eye product that I got, um, I'm really excited about. I've heard many great things about these, and I've seen many good reviews on these. And I really like these. I just don't like how they don't have very many neutral colors. So um, this is just, I believe this is like the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadows. So, um, and I got it in the shade 890 Bronzed Taupe. So this is what the back looks like, and when you open it up, it has a screw top, and then it has this little piece to it, and it looks like a little powder puff, kind of, but it's not. It's just like a little stamp kind of thing, and don't throw this away because it holds the shadow in. So these are, this is like a pressed pigment, I believe, 
I'm not sure if that's what they're called, but this is basically what it is because it gives you beautiful, beautiful pigmentation and my skin is getting so oily. So I'm just going to pick some up on my finger and that is what it looks like. These give beautiful, beautiful color payoff and this is just a light swatch. You could like make it even deeper. It's just crazy, incredible what these shadows do. And if you hear that squeaking, that's the worm squeaking his toys. So I really want to buy, they have a really pretty green and a pretty purple and I really want to buy them, but I just don't wear colors like that. So I was like, why would I buy them? But I wish they would come out with more kind of just different bronze, gold colors because I just really love those. So the last eye thing I purchased today was the Maybelline The Colossal Cat Eyes Mascara. And I've heard a lot of things about this, um, good and bad. A lot of people like them, but I like the regular um, Colossal, the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. That is probably my most favorite drugstore mascara. Everyone loves the CoverGirl one, but for some reason I just, I like this one better. So this is the waterproof version, which I did not know, but it's in the blue. Right here it says waterproof. And this is in... 243 Glam Black. So I'm going to go ahead and open up. Let you know what my first impression on this is. So I do really, really like how they, um, I do like the packaging. I think it's really cute with the cheetah on it and everything. Oh, can't get it open. So this one has a curved wand as you can see, and um, I've never, I don't think I've ever had a mascara that has a curved wand, so I'll have to let you know how I like that. Um, and when I do my tutorial, it'll, it'll be like my first impression, so I'll let you know how I like that. I feel like this would be awfully hard to apply to your bottom lashes. Maybe that's just me. And um, I really was not, it was on sale, so I guess it was on sale because it is the waterproof version, so... This, I probably won't give this great reviews. I've never been a big waterproof mascara person. Um, but I'll let you know how I like it and how it works. So the last thing that I purchased were two lip products. And I'm really excited because these are new and a lot of people have been getting these. Um, these are the Maybelline Color Whispers. So I went ahead and got two shades. They had a million shades that I really liked. So I'll probably be going back to buy more of these. But the two shades that I got, sorry, I keep getting closer to the camera. The two shades that I got, I got a bright color and then um, just an everyday wear color. So I went ahead and I picked up the um, Bear to Be Bold, which I guess it's bare because it's like bare naked. And this is in number 10 and I guess it's bare because it's just not much color. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's really cute. I love how it says whisper on the side. It's very pretty and it just pops open like this and then it rolls up and these remind me of the... Um, my favorite YSL lip balms, I'm not really sure what they're called. And the Coco Shines, and I'm sure, I don't know if it's like the lip butters. I've never had a lip butter, so I wouldn't know. Um, but it's just like a lip balm kind of consistency. So when you swatch this one, I swatched it a second ago for my blog. And you really, you can't see, you can kind of see it here. There you go. You can see where it's at, but it just really doesn't give much payoff. But I like this. I will be wearing this every day, and it'll be a great everyday color. And right now I'm wearing one of the... Um, YSL ones. I'll have to find out the name of it. I thought I brought it in here. And the second color I got is a bright color and I'm really excited about this one. I was wearing it earlier and this is a number 50 cherry on top. So this color is so bright and the actual pigmentation payoff is really nice. So this is what it looks like. It's crazy I know. And you can like build it up. It's just incredible how much pigmentation that these have just for like lip balms. And they stay really well. I feel like these dry from what I wore them today. Um, these dry like a lip stain kind of. So it stays like a balm for a while and then it dries like a stain. But you can see just how invisible this other color is. Um, but I'm really excited. This will be great for spring and summer. And just for all the time wear. It's really kind of fun. So um, I think that... I usually don't buy anything from the drugstore, but I think that the purchases I made today I'm really happy with and I'm glad that I bought them. So I will let you know how I like that and be sure to stay tuned for the tutorial using all this stuff and then a few other products. So um, that'll be really exciting. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to subscribe and don't forget to like this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below because 
um, I love hearing from you guys and it's just so, um, it just fuels my fire to keep going and I just love making videos so I'm just going to keep on making them. So um, thank you all for watching and I hope you have a great start to the new week. So I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys.